What's going on ladies and gents and today we got another Bucks user in the building because of course we do I've been dealing with these guys pretty much all year but you know what I've dealt with so many of them that being this one should be as easy as it gets <sighs> We got a rough one ladies and gents So of course we're going to do the full game here, but I feel like a little bit of world building is needed to explain to you exactly how I found myself in this situation. So as most of you know, I'm pretty freaking good at this game. And while yes, that does mean that I tend to take on what is projected to be very tough opponents, they don't tend to really bother me all that much, as they tend to usually just be a bunch of spammers who do the exact same thing several times over and over, and once I figure out what that is, I pretty much delete them on the spot. However, this thought process comes to us screeching halt the second I play the Fox. Let's just say that if I was Goku, this team would be my Frieza. Rest in peace to Akira Toriyama, by the way. Over the past three to four years, they have had the nasty habit of getting on my last freaking nerve. And yeah, adding Damian Lillard just makes it even worse. Whether it be through pick and roll abusing, three point spamming, or just straight up Giannis cheesing, this team finds a new and exciting way to piss me off every single time I play them. Like, you guys, I have an easier time taking on the Lakers than this squad. The projected cheesiest and most picked team in the game, and I tend to watch them easier than I do this team. And this year just made it even worse, considering the fact that Giannis is a driving tank that just kind of ignores defense. Brook Lopez is both a shot blocker and a three-point specialist. There are a bunch of solid defenders everywhere, and Damian Lillard does threes real good, along with literally everything else. However, I'm in luck because his opposition just so happens to be my number one squad. Here we go! It's the fast break spamming, highlight hooping, razzliest and dazzliest team in NBA history, in my opinion. The 1987 Los Angeles Lakers. For the past three years, the Los Angeles Lakers have been my favorite team to use in the game. Recently, not my most dominant, that would be the 05 Spurs, video coming on them later, but definitely, when they're there, my most selected team. On paper, this team is, for lack of a better word, stacked, at least on paper. We've got two 95 plus overalls in Magic Johnson, a 6 foot 9, do it all passing force in the game. Magic Johnson can pretty much do whatever he wants the entire time. Unless your opponent knows how to stop him, he's pretty much unguardable. If not just for his height and his scoring ability, the fact that the dude is a passer that can get everybody else involved and make everybody better makes him one of the best weapons. Period. He's flanked by his second 95 plus overall, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Not only is he also a do-it-all scorer, but he's also a really capable defender as well. And while yes, he is old and by association slow, he also is known for having one of the cheesiest techniques in the entire game if you just so happen to find yourself in a tough spot. Hook shot, hook shot, hook shot, hook shot, another hook shot, another hook shot, hook shot, hook shot, hook shot. You win! However, I'm no cheeser, so I don't spam that garbage. And alongside them, they have the likes of James Worthy, one of the more underrated driving threats in the game, Byron Scott, easily their best shooter, and Michael Cooper, a pretty versatile offensive threat in his own right, but his calling card is easily his defense. Along with a pretty solid bench. Definitely a worthy tier 1 team. But they have a... one major flaw. They can't shoot. Full court, what are you talking about? Magic Johnson can shoot threes, Michael Cooper and Byron Scott can shoot threes, and shoot, even Kareem Abdul-Jabbar can knock down a midi with ease. Yeah, you see, it ends there. This is the list of players that have either a C or lower three-point rating on the team. AC Green, James Worthy, Wes Matthews, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Michael Thompson, Bakari Thompson, Kurt Rambis, and all of the John Browns. And though admittedly I've learned how to shoot with pretty much all of them, which is why I'm so good with them, this team is not easily applicable for everyone. But I think we've done enough world building, it's time to get into the disaster. Bro is also in a zone, because of course he is, but that's alright ladies and gents, we got ball movement and we got a Kareem jumper. 
This is all he wanted to do. Literally all game. This is all he wanted to do. And the worst part was, we had him clamped, but peep the screen cheese. This is all Magic was doing pretty much all game. Bro was so worried about him, he didn't see Michael Cooper just walk straight towards the basket. Dime. Here comes more screen cheese and lock. James Worthy doing his best Jordan impression. The ball move was going crazy, but the rebounds were going even crazier. Okay, woman. A woman who... Shot clock. Yo, Magic, what is this? Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs? Pass the ball to someone else. Cream said, get that weak stuff out of here. And then we pull it up for three. Well, dang, son. Who shakes the screen on Byron Scott? Just give it a rest, dude. Alright, so y'all see me on Kareem right here, right? Yeah, I know this guy's already going to young. So I'm right already here to... Okay, pause the freaking game. Run this back real quick, because I know this game did not just do Kareem like that. Like, I know we joke that Giannis is a walking halfback dive, but he really might be playing the wrong sport with this. Oh, hit him with the truck stick and sent Kareem flying! He is not that soft. If soft at all, keep in mind, this is the same guy that decked the dude. Oh, I'm thinking about it. Didn't he sock Will Chamberlain too? Like, the Kareem disrespect is crazy. He ain't no punk. I know he was a little out of position, but this is insane. But as y'all can see, Bro was just basically taking and Giannis and just halfback diving his way to the basket. He did it every time, as many times as possible. And no, Giannis did not sit. With Kareem still reeling from the embarrassment, there's no way we can pass the ball to him. Just swinging around James Worthy for the three. Oh, here comes Magic Johnson, wide open three off the ball. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. You cannot be missing wide open three of I stand correct. I retract my previous statement. Everything that I just mentioned about Magic is null and void up to this point. I, he's the greatest. The greatest. But no, we gotta talk about this one too. Magic just came flying in. He just had to make it up on defense, I guess. Look at the noodle arm before the swing. Bro got his shoulders loose before sending it into the third row. All jokes aside though, I don't know why he was trying to take it up on Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Magic Johnson at the same time. I don't know what he expected. Look at this nonsense. He's trying to get me three seconds. Money is trash. I just can't do nothing about Giannis. Magic throwing more passes to his boyfriend, Michael Cooper dime pass to someone else almost halfway through a boring second quarter and the wheels are already falling off only one thing left to do send in the john brown i hope the amenities are to your liking they're not the good news you won't be staying long cream on goat levels of glass work here bad shot by magic johnson okay, no that's a rebound by kareem bad shot by james worthy okay, no that's a rebound by Kareem. And finally, James Worthy gets something to go. James Worthy trying to do his best Magic Johnson impression, but they don't love him like that. But then he was like, wait, let me try it again. A Kareem jam. I was actually duped into thinking this man was going to go to anyone other than the Giannis freak. I can't. And then the garbage. Come on. Look at the John Brown getting involved in the ball movement. Byron Scott taking off. This is what I have to deal with. This is why he's already up big. I, I can't. But Magic is doing more Magic things and Brooke Lopez is blind, so. Finally, we stopped the lob and Magic Johnson actually passing to someone else. Byron Scott and one! And then Byron Scott with the triple. He's cooking. Well, sort of. Giannis going up. He missed it. Oh, my. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Which is how we arrived here. Magic Johnson is pissed, Byron Scott is running on fumes, and Kareem hasn't hit a mid-range jumper since that first one he hit earlier. Being frankly honest, he's the one selling the bag right now. We are down by 14 points, with 2 minutes and 19 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Roy was in my messages the whole freaking game, just pissing me off. Only unfortunate news for him is, he didn't sit Giannis. Now I have to admit, 2K absolutely nailed it when it came to stamina playing a big time factor in a player's ability to get things done. Which means if I were a betting man, Giannis ain't hitting any jumpers anytime soon, and it should be a bit easier to slow him down. Which is how we were able to come up with one of the better comebacks this team has ever produced. In the ranks that I play, being down by 14 is much like being down by like 30, so this is not gonna be easy. Especially since the zone was kinda getting to me for a second. But gentlemen, it's now or never. NEVER GIVE UP! To be honest, I don't want the little 30 minute thing, so I wasn't gonna quit it anyways. Now it's not the time for that, it's time for a comeback. So 
So yeah, we're still down 13 by around the end of the third quarter, but this is the spark plug we needed. Kareem finally hit another midi. Look at Byron pump his fist like, finally. Hold your horses, ladies and gents, because Kareem might be getting his get back. I thought he was just going to cook Kareem all night with no resistance. Well, Kareem has other plans. Well, sort of. I know Mans is going to the basket. I know he's going to Giannis. Give me that. Enemy spotted. Can we talk, guys, like, really quick? Magic Johnson has, like, two points, and that may seem like on paper he's having a bad night. No, he just hasn't been shooting the ball pretty much at all because he's been too busy putting on an absolute dime party. And this, this just right here is just icing on the cake for him. He was literally standing on the other side of the court and fired this bullet to James Worthy. Craziness. Damian Lillard out here chucking up bricks as he's been doing all game. Magic with the rebound and he's been doing everything but score. Kareem with the get back. Magic tosses it to Byron. Byron tosses it to Kareem. Kareem tosses it to Michael. Tosses it back to Kareem. Brooke, where are you going? Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. Truth be told, Brooke Lopez has been selling the bag for this brother all game long. I don't know if he was blind or just wasn't paying attention, but Brooke Lopez just, I don't know. Brooke Lopez needed to make a play on Kareem there to stop the momentum, but instead he had his phone on silent because he did not answer the call. This man was getting uber desperate and back to the screen, she's not happening. Magic Johnson actually scored points. And then Magic proceeds to go right back to what he was originally doing. Hitting back that boy Michael Cooper for three. And just like that, it's a three point game. Magic Johnson tossing more dimes to Kareem. James Worthy with a oh, clean up, clean up on aisle three. Windex board, James Worthy with the glass clean and Brooke Lopez is still selling. A minute and 15 seconds to go, Michael Cooper for the lead with the chance to extend the lead. Oh, a double block! Double block! It's a double block! Look at Magic and Kareem with the teamwork. The double block. Their real life competitive spirit is leaking out onto their virtual characters. They both skied for this. Malik Beasley was not ready for this. Look at the arms get crossed together. They hit the fusion technique. There was nowhere to go. Look like they're doing a missed high five, but they're really doing the friendship is magic block. They must have been watching. My little pony, my little pony. Poor Malik Beasley, I can't even see him anymore. Bro thought he had some easy stuff just to get absolutely wrecked by two of the greatest players to ever play that position. Yet again, Magic doing literally everything but score points. Look at James Worthy and Giannis looking like Ice Cube and Chris Tucker on Friday. But still though, one minute, five seconds left to go. This was an absolutely huge block to keep us down by one. Two goats just doing goat stuff, you know. Malik Beasley was still flabbergasted by the block. He didn't get back on defense. Byron wide open. The Lakers take the lead. Magic Johnson looking for somebody. He left the wrong dude open. Kareem to break the tie. He got it. Kareem is cooking, coming out of the timeout. We know the lob is coming, but Kareem is there. He's ready. He stopped it. Magic Johnson makes the steal and the slam. Johnson with the finish to put us up by four and complete the comeback. These two just out here making huge plays on defense. Oh, was spamming that lob all game long, but Giannis was too tired to continue. Michael Thompson may not have done much in this game, but he was huge as far as our stamina was concerned. Shoutouts have to go to AC Green as well for doing the same. And just like that, the game is over. 68-64 is the final score. Look at those stats in the fourth quarter. This team got absolutely obliterated 23-8 in the final quarter of play. It is not how you start the game. It is how you finish. It may have looked like Kareem was getting torched all night, but against the Giannis Cheezer, he held his own 19 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, 4 steals, and 4 blocks on 9 of 13 shooting. Get it done, Kareem. Gotta give big props to the guy that saved us midway through the game, Byron Scott, 15 points on 5 of 11. Shot like garbage from 3, but we're not gonna talk about that. Made the one that matters, dang it. James Worthy and Michael Cooper were Mr. Consistency all day long, combining for 24 points and Michael Cooper was nearly perfect from the field. Not to mention, I have to acknowledge the fact that he absolutely clamped Damian Lillard. Let's just say bro was Giannis cheesing for a reason because Damian Lillard was in a box all game long. Magic Johnson may have only had six points, but he counteracted it with a huge block, a huge steal, and 16 assists. 
responsible for 41 of the team's points. He put in way more work than you think. By the way, I also know that the John Brown's name is actually David Miller, but it used to be that they're, all their names were John Brown back in like 2K16. So I just call all the 2K generated players John Brown, but shout out to him for making a three. I've been dropping 60 plus points per game on average on pretty much everybody recently, and this game was no different. And while I'm thinking about a video also coming soon on that game underneath it. Funny enough, it's a lot like this one, but with a lot more shenanigans involved. But that's gonna do it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe for more NBA and 2K content, follow me on all my social media platforms, the link will be in the description below. This was one amazing game. I love big comebacks like this, and I also love when I get my get back against an absolute jerk fake. This guy did not shut up all game. Huge dub for the 1987 Lakers though. But with that being said, it's been Mr. Full Court. I'll see you guys later, man.